Oh, you need a small key down there. Oh, re okay. Well, all right. I guess I'll... Oh, can I just use... Okay, so it's for always when a one-time thing... Nope! Ah, damn it. Okay, it's like you use once. Yeah. I think we just learned that now. Yeah, yeah, but keep, keep it there. Once you get the other key, just hit it. Oh! All right, yeah, that'll work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. Got you, man. Um, all right, so my supposedly COVID dream that I had. So my family and I were like in this field. Maybe there were some trees and maybe there were some like some of those like giant satellites, you know? Um, and I remember that in the distance, <clears throat> in the distance, there was like maybe a half dozen to a dozen people coming after us. Uh huh. And then, for some reason, I thought that your dad's nice truck was there. Uh huh. And uh, for some reason, it was stripped down, so it wasn't as nice or technical uh -huh. as it was. Uh huh. But the thing is, these people surrounded us, and then like. Uh, they sent us to this prison just because we had tested positive for COVID uh -huh. and or uh, we were not vaccinated uh -huh. for the for co for COVID. Uh huh. Um, and then we were. Uh, so you can go shoot that eye now that uh, it's down. There. Oh, is that where I could get that other key? I believe so. Okay. Good. Um. So the thing. So. Um, so yeah, like, me and my whole family, like, uh, we were all driven away to, uh, this prison mm -hmm. that was, uh, specifically for those who tested positive and or, uh, was not vaccinated. And I say and or because I, for the life of me, am not certain of what happened in my dream. All I can remember is that after that, like, as we were driving by, um... We were driving throughout these mountains, and there's like mm -hmm. uh, this town in the mountains, which, mm -hmm. by the way, see, I know that there are some like building structures there, uh, but there's a hole in the ground. There yeah, too. but the, but I also remember seeing like you know just a bunch of trees, and it looked really pretty. I mm -hmm. will say that. So I wasn't sure if like that was a town or if that was like the building structures of the prison. Mm -hmm. And then the dream just kind of stopped there, and then I just woke up just feeling like. Um, just like kind of annoyed mm -hmm. about it because uh, so, I got I got quit. Oop. Okay. Uh. Uh. You had a question? Oh no. I, like uh, now, how often do you uh, uh, can you control your dreams, and how like? Are you are you able to do that? Can you force yourself awake when you know you're in a nightmare, or when you know that a nightmare is starting or that it's coming and you just don't want to deal with it? Good question. Um, I know. I want to say within the past few years, mm -hmm. don't know when, but I want to say that I have been able to control my dreams at least once. Mm -hmm. Like you know, nice. I uh, was in a state of awareness. I was like, oh, I'm dreaming. Mm -hmm. So, before I wake up, and as long as I'm aware, and as long as I can uh, walk slowly up here and not fall back down, um, I could actually... There's a gold sculpture that close by. Where? Want to look up? Is it... Ah, okay, so, back over here. Let's take my time. Um, so, 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 yeah, at least once, <laughs> like, I... I think I was able to like uh, do whatever it is I want to do in the dream, mm -hmm. and like you know have some control. But other than that, like most of the time, I have no idea when I'm dreaming, mm -hmm. and it, I just like let it run. Really? Because uh, like, because like with with me, like I learned how to like like uh, most of the time I'm able to realize that I'm dreaming, and so that's that's fun. Because then it's like, oh, okay. So that's what's happening, because like most of the time you don't realize you're dreaming, you know? <gasps> That was really close! That was close! 
Holy that was cow. butt clenching close. Yeah, it was. Holy cow. Okay. There's a switch in the next one, I think. There is a, a different type of uh let's see. A floor master? Yeah. This this guy, I think, is immune to uh Din's fire. Yeah. There's the ones in the shadow temple that are like really so cool to it. And then he splits into three. Oh, that was satisfying. That's well the first done. time I've actually killed them with a spin attack. That was awesome. Otherwise, like, I had used, uh, Din's Fire. Nice. And I get more magic to boot. Nice. Okay. Um. No, but I, I, lo I, I love I, that, like, like, uh, because most of the time, like, I'll realize it. And then, like, I'll consciously be like, oh, yeah, now I'm going to have fun tonight. Like, like it's kind of a weird thing. It's like, in my head, it's like, okay, I like I like it when I can do this. So then, then like, I'll start messing with my own dream and think things like. All right, I will return to the warp point. Nice. Floop. Gosh, that's nice. Um... But like that's that's still one of my one of my favorite things. It's like okay, now I've uh, now that I realize I'm breathing, I can now just do whatever the heck I want. Like okay, I want to fly. Okay, I'm gonna fly. Like I want to see things. I'll go. I'll go like see things. Like um, it's like I want to do cool stuff. I'm gonna do cool stuff. You know? Whatever that might be in the dream, I'm ready to rock. But. Uh, I seem to see. I seem to have like remember. Oh, sorry. this is where I waste a lot of freaking arrows. Really? Oh yeah. Oh wait, you gotta shoot through uh, the torch. Yeah, it's the icy block thing. That, one. that thing. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Gosh, I hate doing that. One. I don't think I've ever done it on the first try. Let's see, Tanner. First try. Mm -hmm. Ah no, it was off. I do waste um, a lot of arrows that way. Yeah, I'm, I'm just like butchering what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. um, I think I, I think this happened more often when I was like a kid or a teenager. Uh -huh. But like sometimes whenever I would have dreams, like let's say there's like some sort of bee or a hornet in the dream. Uh huh. And then, ah, damn it. Um, and like towards but the end of it, like the... my my back. <laughs> so like I'm laying in bed, uh -huh. my back would shoot straight up. Uh -huh. As if like I was like stung by a bee, and it, I I feel like this tingling huh. sensation, and then when I wake up, like I just get thrown off. It's like what is it? like wait there that wasn't a bee, it was all just yeah. a dream. The, in, involuntary movements like when you dream and stuff, yeah, that's trip. Yeah, that's like I don't know. I do that yeah. so uh, every night. Like I have to sleep facing away from Barbara because as soon as I fall asleep, I like. Dude, that, so like, she's told me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I, I'll be like, like that. Like just, uh, just flail in my like in my sleep. And I think it's just because like I fall asleep so fast and my brain's like trying to say, oh my gosh, is he dead? <laughs> like, like it's, it's that. It's like trying to figure things out. Oh, can I? Actually, I need to go through here. Do I? Uh, yeah. Otherwise, like that other door, I'm just going back to where it was. Um, and then there was. This. What was this? I think there's a like like over here or something. A like like? Mm -hmm. Takes your shield. I I know what it is, but like, was it here? No, this is a scarecrow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I haven't gone to him. No. So yeah, I can't do much. I wonder if like the scarecrow is there just to help you like beat this dungeon faster. You don't like get to this so. room quicker. Um. Windows. Oh, my, my dude, dude. <laughs> watch out! The ceiling is falling down. All right. Oh, here. Can I? Oh no, I can't. Oh, well now I can. Let's see. Get rid of you. Oh, nice. Got a lot of hitboxes. Is there another one over there? I'm. Woo! Oh, nice, nice shot. Just go for the switch. Soon as... Ooh! That was really close. That fell on your toes. Yeah. Okay. 
There are any more sculptulas? Or... I can't see any, but there's a chest. Right here. They got a bundle of arrows. Nice. Yeah, I think this is the puzzle one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And isn't it like random every time? Yeah. Just gotta shoot the, the portrait. Alright, so I think it's best if I stand up here. Blippy blap. Just so I could get a good look. I, I think there's like one block that you don't yeah, need. Yeah, there's four there's four total that you need. So that's that middle one that doesn't do anything, that blue one right there. Alright. Okay, yep, it's it's four. Come on. Ooh, these are really heavy blocks. Yeah. What, did that stop in place? Yeah. Well, push up against that other one. Okay. Come on. Okay. You got her. Come on. There we go. Close. Nice, <laughs> right in the face. Yeah, just slice that ghost face in half. Nice, but I think so. There's uh, so I think I don't know if I mentioned it like 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 on the channel or not, but like so. There's certain dreams that I remember more than others. I think I have. I think I, think I mentioned the, the Harry Potter one. The one where I got my Hogwarts letter. I don't think I've heard this one. No. it's still, I still remember the dream. I still, like, to this day, I'm 30 freaking one. Like, I had this dream when I was 11. Right? So, like, when you're supposed to go to Hogwarts and stuff. Right? So, I had this dream, and it was, like, uh, it was awesome. I dreamt, like, uh, you know how the kitchen was laid out upstairs before? Uh, before like, it got remodeled? Yeah, yeah. Remember how the kitchen counter was kind of uh, uh, close to that back door? Kind of thing. There there was a table mm -hmm. by that back door, and then mm -hmm. there was, like, a, a much smaller kitchen island. Right, right. So, on the corner of that island, I still remember, in my, in my dream, that door was open. It was the screen door, and then there was a... Uh, um, there's a Poe sister. Yeah, not even her own portrait. Nope. Gotta yeah, figure out which one to fight. But, uh, like, there was an owl sitting there with my Hogwarts letter. I still remember the, the dream, dude. Nice guess! Well, yeah, no, I saw it right away. You did? Oh, yeah. nice. So I could just do... Nice. Yeah, that's all I gotta uh, do. Yeah, I got my Hogwarts letter, and I remember being so excited. Like, like when I was a kid, I thought it was like the coolest freaking thing. I still remember the dream to this day. And I woke up, and I was like, so excited. Mom, I'm a Muggle-born wizard. Well, I was like, I was like so excited. Like, I was so excited when I woke up. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, like I, and then, but then, like realizing that it was a dream was like awful. You know, I was like, oh my gosh, no! I was gonna be a wizard. I was gonna be a wizard, Harry. <laughs> well, uh, you can be when Hogwarts Legacy comes out. Oh heck yeah! Don't know when's go going to come out, but uh, soon, hopefully. You know, it'd be like really cool is if they had like connectivity to like Pottermore or your uh... yeah, yeah, that would be neat. I don't know if there's anything else you can get. Um, Keep I, I think this just takes me to that other courtyard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just just looking around. I know I could go down in the basement. I just want to see. So that's the. What's this? No. Nope, Are there a... any chests on the on the dungeon map? Oh. Um. Let me see. There's Ooh, one. one. Where's that? That's the one where you shoot the eye in the puzzle room. You know how there's that eye that was sitting there that, like, uh, when you came around the corner, it was right there? Uh, wait, hold on. I 
don't... W- was it uh, in the puzzle room mm-hmm. area? Yep. Mm-hmm. Pu- puzzle room is in, like, the, the one that's, like, the, the puzzle that you climb up, push the block or whatever. There's yeah. An and, eye, and there's an just, eye up there on the wall that you can shoot hit. that? Yeah, and then a chest appears. I don't think it's anything big. I don't think it's, like, a key or anything. I think it's, like, uh... I mean, yeah, we've been, like, in every room, yeah. and we got the boss key. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it's probably not important. No, it's probably probably like a recovery heart or some old crap. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go fight some phantoms. You know, it was really crappy. So, like, uh, one of the first times I played through this, it took me forever to find the fourth post sister. I just kept like running around in circles, like trying to find the extra door, but I never went to the middle. I never went to, to through the middle of the dungeon. Yeah, like, uh, it must have been frustrating. Oh, I was very. Also, frustrated. what the hell is this? Exactly. I'm, it's like who designs a room like this? Well, no, I mean not just that, but it's like I'm able to like move the entire wall. Yeah. Uh, across the whole room. And then there oh, should be a gold sculpture there. Nearby. One. Oh, I was gonna say one arrow. I think it's in the next room over. If you look at the mini map, it's probably to the right. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I I don't like this room. It's just kind of like well, there's no rhyme or reason to it really. And then okay, I can't do much with that. Yeah, I, I think as a kid, I've always thought that this was just a really strange room. I agree. Um, okay, switch. This opens another one. Wait, wait, wait. I think it was sculpture. Uh, not yet. No. Let, me, let me go full circle. Then I think I can't know. What? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, nope, that's a dead end. This. Oh, wait, what? But I. I didn't see it. Okay, uh... Whee. Weird! I thought it was like in the next room over. Hmm. Well, at least I got it. Yeah. Uh, okay, now what? Keep pushing. Uh, that's, uh, that's all I can do down here. Okay, that's a dead end. Okay, that's open. Oh, so the, the switch behind the gate... Had a blue carpet. I gotcha. All right. So now I gotta push this two more times. I don't like how I have to like wait till the whole room right. stops. It's like wait and see what happens. There it okay. Goes. Oh, boy. Yeah, I kind of have, like, mixed feelings about this dungeon. Yeah? So... Yeah, I, yeah, just kind of based on what you said. Like, yeah. it's easy to get lost mm-hmm. into. So, uh, I heard... This is what I heard. I heard that this was originally supposed to be some kind of, like, hub world. Kind of like Mario, uh, yeah. Mario 64. Where you go to, like, different places by going through paintings and things like that. Yes. But then, like, uh, when they, uh further with the development or whatever, they scrapped it. Yeah, I've heard something similar about then, that, too. Oh, I can't escape! Oh, no! I can't even, like, hop over the tether. Exactly! It's like one of those, like, freaking, uh... Oh, look at this guy. He has an age today. Oh, yeah, he, uh, he looks very, He looks um, better than he did before! Uh, what, 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 what ointments and lotions do you use? He... He, uh... So what, know. did he just put a helmet on, or did he just, like, tear his face off? I think he tore his face off. That's cool. Oh okay. This boss is coming. At least his first phase. Yeah. 
I got to pay attention. Oop. Yeah. Oh. Oop. Oh. Lucky that didn't hit me. Okay. Where is he? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Okay, so I can shoot him as soon as he starts to poke out. Like right. when he's, uh, you know, right. Matt White. Watch out! Oh! Ow! Okay. Maybe I can actually look around faster without pulling the bow. He's looking right. for some energy ball tennis! It's like the best phase ever. Oh! Well, uh, I wasn't up for it yet. Alright. Attack! Oh! Come on, Phantom Ganon, you could do better than that. Oh! Oh, that was like directly above me. Yeah. Let's hit right back at him. What the freak? Maybe it's just uh, the way I hit it. There we go. Oh! Pull in the way. All right, and you're done. Oh. <laughs> ah, okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah bonus hit. Nice. Oh, he did. Nice. He's just puppet. Yeah, his soul's on fire. So what voice are you giving to Ganondorf? Hey, kid. You did quite well. It looks like you may be getting some slight skill. No, I just get, I got a master sword. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you when you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. Ah, uh, it's the voice to be determined. Yeah. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. Oh, snap. You done messed up, eh, Aaron? I wonder if that's like an actual place that you can go to in this game. Not only you can travel through time, but travel through dimensions, and like that has its own well, dungeon. That's what, that's what it is. You just go through like a wormhole whenever you play like the Ocarina Man. That's why Ganondorf wanted it so bad. And Zelda had it. She wanted to like help you to fast travel and stuff for things to be more open worldy. Yeah. That's what she wants. Mm. Oh, anywho, so back to Christmas stuff. I'm like super hyped. I got like all the kids' Christmas gifts and stuff. Got Barbara's Christmas gifts, and it's gonna be a good day. It's payday yeah. right before. I'm just gonna relax yeah. and do absolutely freaking nothing. I'm pretty sure that this episode's going to come out after Christmas. Nice. Got my sister uh, like a seventy-five dollar gift card mm -hmm. for uh, this beauty store. Nice. So hopefully she'll be stoked about that. Nice. Thank you. Because of you. I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of the forest temple. I always believed that you would come, because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. You don't have to explain that you got rid of my ocarina for Princess I, Zelda's ocarina. I would, I would like my ocarina back, please. <laughs> because it Give is Give it to me as a token of our friendship, like... <laughs> uh, just, just like <laughs> he's yeets freaking Soraya. <laughs> no, no, just just yeets uh, Soraya's uh, ocarina. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the forest sage and help you. Now, please take this medallion. And yeah, I'm just gonna expect that you're gonna trade this one for some other medallion for. An or another friend or a girl, I don't know. I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm just feeling dead inside. It's been seven years. Listen, you'd be surprised what seven years can do to you. Word. 
You receive the Force Medallion. Saria Sur awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Saria will always be your friend. Oh, okay, yeah. Especially when she's talking in third person now. Yes. She doesn't even know. Yeah, Saria is hungry. Saria has to go to the bathroom. Saria needs to eat. Needs to consume. Saria needs to consume. That is what a Kokiri poop looks like. It all has leaves on it. Your mother is dead! <laughs> Gosh. That's so accurate, though. That's yeah. kind of funny. Yeah.